New this morning, you can step into the Virginia Tech Helmet Lab and crank up the helmet simulator. Oh, this sounds pretty yeah. cool. 10 News reporter Brittany Weir takes us to the Science Museum of Western Virginia, where you can test how effective football helmets are. If you're a football fan like me, this next exhibit is pretty cool. As you can see, we're going to be able to test out the impact of two football helmets and football players as if they were hitting each other in a old game. So I'm joined here with Ray. So can you kind of walk us through what's going on here? Yeah, this is kind of similar to what they have at the Virginia Tech Lab where they test the strength of different helmets. So you get to flip the switches and crank back this helmet back here and then flip the switch down and you can see how hard of an impact it has. All right, guys, you ready? Let's see this. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a hard hit. Yes. So something they would experience probably in one of their football games or even worse. So. <laughs> exactly. Over here we also have some different examples of or different examples of helmets and mm -hmm. how they look inside and you get to put them on and see what they would look like as well. So you can pick out a different one and put them on our little friend here. I chose this big one because I thought that looked pretty cool. So such a fun football exhibit and also you guys have some cool events coming up as well. Oh yeah, I would definitely pay attention to our website um, to show we have a lot of, home, we have our homeschool STEM events coming up, storybook science as well as parents night out in our spooktacular event Ooh. in October which is going to be really fun. I was going to say, oh, lots of fun. Lots of things for people to look forward to. So again, if you guys want to check those out, you can head over to their website. We'll also have them on our website as well. If you want to smash two football helmets together too, come on out to the museum. Reporting in Roanoke, I'm Brittany Weir, 10 News, working for you.